Hey, what's going on everyone? Void Vox here. Join me as I attempt to guide and balance an ecosystem on a fantastical, procedurally generated world. This is Earth Tongue, a vivarium sim, or in other words, a giant aquarium or terrarium that you have indirect control over. So this is going to be my first playthrough, my first look at this game. So right now we got this pink fungus stuff going on. Looks like it's growing on on the land. There's a, a research journal. So you go through this and it sort of gives you uh, some hints, I believe, as you unlock or discover new things or uh, achieve certain goals. You'll unlock these journal entries. So once you start discovering, I guess, these uh, breeds of, of uh, looks like bugs and life and mold, you unlock... Um, you unlock a little journal entry on them. All right, so let's just start playing. So it looks like we have some pink fungus going on here. Uh, here's the age of our world, how much nutrients we have, which I which I suppose is what is required to grow. Uh, biomass and diversity. Diversity being two, which means I guess we got two different species of things on here. I guess this would be one. And we may have another. Let's just scroll across here. Some more pink fungus. Oh, here we are. We got some some beetles, it seems. Uh, so you can pick these up and drag them. So I'm going to go ahead and place one here. And it looks like the beetle is eating it. Yeah, definitely eating the fungus. All right. Uh, oh, they're multiplying. <laughs> they are breeding. Okay, so I guess they live off fungus. Um, pink fungus, anyway, so far. So we'll get them to live in this area. I don't know if putting too much here... I guess supply demand, right? So we'll put two there. We knew there's another patch over here. So maybe they sort of keep this in check. Who knows? We'll find out. You'll notice that I got some interventions up here. And uh, three options. Import bug, import fungus, or weather. And right now they're all on random. And that requires a certain amount of intervention points to use, and this is where the limited access sort of intervention comes in. You can either select uh, for a reduced cost, a random item for one of these three things, or you can select a specific, uh, in this case a specific bug, a specific fungus, and a specific uh, weather. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, since this is my first playthrough, and that's pretty much all I know about the game is what I just explained. We're just going to start, you know, discovery mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and start importing things, like maybe a random fungus. So brown pad immigrated. So right here I just noticed a brown pad drop. Uh, let's check our journal. No, we haven't unlocked brown pad yet. So there's the age is four. So we have to make the 5,000 with that being still alive, I guess, and we'll unlock that journal entry. But it doesn't seem to be growing nearly as fast as the pink fungus does. And that could be because maybe it requires... Uh, maybe it requires something. Some weather. This I'm not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and click it though. Uh, rainfall. There was a rainfall. Okay, so it definitely wet the tops of the um, terrain. It looks like it seeped down a little bit. That didn't seem like it did much. Now I don't know. Yeah, brown pad is just sort of chilling. We're going to go ahead and do this one here, see what this does. Nutrients are plentiful. Alright, so a whole bunch of nutrients fall down onto the planet. Uh, and it looks like it definitely does a spike of growth uh, for the pink fungus. Oh, the brown looks like it's starting. Something is happening here. So we'll check on that in a second. Let's see how our, our other group of... Uh, bugs are doing. Uh, what do we got here? What is this? Oh, a dead bug? Okay, so we have a dead bug. Uh, they're not really surviving all that well. Is that because they're not eating? Here, go here. This guy over here is doing alright, though. So one bug per small patch seems to be enough to sustain it. Looks like our brown pad is starting to grow. Uh, so let's go ahead and try... Oh, there's rainfall. Okay, so there's also random uh, random events that can happen, so you don't have to to invoke them. And it 
looks like that's about it. All right, so let's see what this weather effect does. Wind blew spores skyward. Okay. Uh, my understanding there is maybe the the life we have on the planet. Um, it would then possibly plant those in other locations. That's my guess. I'm not seeing much of anything happen there. This is a big learning process for this game. That is for sure. Just constant discovery, trying to figure out what does what, how do how do uh how does life interact with one another. It's very much an observation game. Uh this guy's he's having a good time. Alright, so let's go ahead and import uh we don't have enough for a bug. We have to wait for a third intervention. We could import another fungus though, so let's do that. Uh red pod. Let's see if we can find that. The red pod somewhere. Is that it right there? That could be it right there. Uh, we're going to do random weather. There's rainfall. I'm assuming that's going to be good. You can uh, change the speed of which the uh, the simulator will go. Right? You know, speeding up time. So I'll go ahead and put it on number two just to see what happens. Looks like red, red is starting to spread a little bit here. Pink is doing okay here. There's two beetles. Brown is a slow-growing, uh, slow-growing plant. Now, because it's brown, I wonder. I wonder if there's carnivorous like plants. We take this dead body that I have here, and I put it in the brown. Again, I have no idea if this is something that would, you know, matter. I don't know if dead bodies can provide nutrients to plants or fungus. But we'll put that there and. Maybe we'll see what happens. Red plant starting to grow, looking nice, looking nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put a beetle in the red plant, see what happens. Looks like the beetle... I'm assuming this is a beetle. Uh, they don't give you names. The journal would probably tell me. Rhin it's probably... yeah, it's a rhino beetle. This entry will be written upon maintaining the presence of this species for 5,000 age. Alright. So he is indeed eating this plant. Uh, we're up at two interventions. I'm going to try to get to three because I'm going to import another bug. Wow, okay, they <laughs> multiplied like crazy over here. Uh, let's go ahead and place another one here with the red. Maybe two in the red. These guys are gobbling up this pink like there's no tomorrow. It doesn't look like this does anything, really. I'm going to go ahead and keep it there. Um, I'm kind of curious if it decays over time, right? Look at these beetles, just wondering what the hell's going on. Without food, they will die. Uh, this red is starting to spread quite a bit. Might need to invoke some weather. Looks like we have enough intervention points to import another bug, but I'm kind of wondering if I should do that. I'm going to drop you over here. You guys are starting to get a little too... Uh, a little too overpopulated for my taste. So we're going to import a bug. A beetle. Okay, so just <laughs> it just brought in another beetle. I guess that's the uh, the risk you take by going random, right? You you spend a lot less intervention points, but you don't know what you're getting. I was hoping for a new species. Uh, these two here will happily live off that. Okay, these beetles are enjoying the red. The red is really starting to take hold now. And this pink. Look at the brown slowly creeping its way. Okay, so so far I'm 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 enjoying this. I have I really don't know what's happening, so I think that's part of the joy is that uh, I don't really know the strategies yet. I don't understand what interacts with, you know, what needs what in this uh, alien planet. So I think uh, a lot of the fun is discovering this for me, discovering these combinations and you know what a uh, plant how they grow, what they even do. Like, I, I'm not sure there's other bugs that require certain plants. So there's, there's probably a lot to discover in this game. And it's also, I guess, somewhat of a survival, you know, simulator in the respect, in the respect that you're trying to keep this, uh, all life on this planet alive, right? You're trying to keep this constant balance. You're playing Mother Nature, basically. Okay. Uh, the brown is growing. 
Uh, we have enough points to import another bug. I'm wondering, we need eight to choose a specific bug. Uh, maybe we'll import eight. We don't even have enough for a, a specific fungus. Although there's quite a bit, we might get lucky and get another random. So let's, I'm gonna attempt it. Okay, we got a grub. There's the grub. It fell right into the uh, brown. And the grub is definitely eating it. Um, very slowly, so that... I think... Oh, okay, maybe not that slow. <laughs> that grub is hungry, man. Wow, that grub is just motoring through uh, brown. So we're going to move you away from the brown uh, plant, because that is actually taking a long time. Will the, will the grub eat... No. So the grub's not carnivorous. Holy beetle explosion over there. I'm going to put you here. Okay, so you can eat on the red. Uh, you guys have just exploded. I'm kind of curious how these will interact, if they will at all. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming some bugs will be carnivorous. These guys just exploded. Just, okay. We're gonna make that extinct. We're gonna have to just chill. Here, drop him there. Chill you guys out just a little bit. You're about to wipe out that whole patch of food. Do we have any other pink? No, we don't. So I think they're about to wipe out the pink population. Holy, red is really growing. Look at all the dead beetles. Red has taken over. Brown is, is a slow grower. Where is our pink? Right there. Listen, guys, you gotta give it... Oh, that one just died in my... <laughs> it died in my hands! Pink has... <laughs> pink mold has gone extinct. So, uh, yeah, that can happen. Interesting. All right, so we have a beetle here. Where did the grub go? Where did the grub... There he is, right there. You're gonna die, man. You need to eat. The eating? What's he doing? What is the grub doing? Is the grub dead? I can't click it. Fascinating. Did I find a bug? <laughs> so to speak. Wow, these these beetles. Wow, they they just eat everything. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and import uh some more fungus then. Oh, pink pink mushroom has been brought in. What is this thing? Where did this bug come from? Look at that. Did they just... No, the grub turned into it. That's what happened. No kidding. <laughs> okay, that is super cool. It's a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Uh, we imported a, uh, oh, damn, there it is. It's, uh, it's grown pretty good. Let's do some weather here. Oh, no, there was a drought. Probably not a great thing. Let's do another weather. The stars have aligned. Interventions received. I guess that's what that means. Got some points for doing that. Uh, weather again. There was rainfall, which I think was heavily required. Got these uh, pink mushrooms growing quite well over here. Uh, the brown is starting to get a hold, a foothold on on the uh, surface. The red is getting chewed up. Um, there's another grub. The grubs are multiplying. Let's put you over here. Uh, let's try a grub in the brown now. Put you right here. And that fly thing, I don't know where it is. Oh, we've unlocked entry number five. All right. Bugs are a very different form of life compared to the fungi. It seems they must consume other life to survive. They come in herbivores, uh, detrivores, carnivores, or mixed diet categories. Instead of reproducing via spores, bugs do so by laying eggs after reaching a certain age. A single egg cluster may contain many bugs inside. No shiza beans. Okay. No kidding. Well, that's interesting. Guess we'll just have to figure out which ones are what. 
His grub is doing his thing. I don't know where that flying bug went off to, but possibly it died. These beetles are just out of control. We're gonna need. We're almost at eight. Once I hit eight, I'm gonna import a uh, a bug that we don't have. Maybe this guy. I don't know what that is. In fact, we can probably guess. Well, here we go. These show pictures of them. It's a roach. This entry, yeah, bug. It's a class of beetle. A mantis. You know that one eats other bugs. <laughs> we might need to import a mantis to control the um, the beetle population. So uh, you know what? Maybe that's what I'll do. Once I get eight in eight intervention points, we'll bring in a mantis. To me, oh, a wasp. Hmm. What was that one that we found? A fly. That's no. It was. Was it a fly? Uh, let's see. Oh, locust. Nope. I don't know what. I don't know what bug that we unlocked. Hmm. Any rate, these mushrooms sure are growing mighty fine. Uh, no, you're a dead beetle. Grub is uh, quite happy there. Beetles seem to be sustaining off that location. Too many beetles, man. Too many beetles. That guy's. What's he doing? Is he, is he doing that transformation thing again? Yes. Yes, he is. What are you? Blue wings, green body. A fly? Oh. Oh. Oh, found a little bit of a bug. Here we go. Bring that back. Uh, fly. No, that's white wings. Yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of uh, uh, a bug in the research journal. No big deal. The uh, developer has told me that they are addressing it in the next patch. He's flying around. What if I go ahead and place him on the brown? Brown plants. Oh, just place it. There you go. See what he does. Does he eat it? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's uh, bring in a mantis. Oh my goodness, look at all the bugs we can bring in. I'm gonna put the mantis... Oh wait, he just drops, like... <laughs> Geronimo, man. <laughs> oh my. This is a mantis, we're gonna put you right here. <laughs> the beetle's dancing on his head. Does he not eat the beetles? Maybe he doesn't eat beetles. <laughs> Oh no, does he only eat flies or something? <laughs> uh, unless the mantis, like in real life, just sort of sits and waits, right? This may have been a bad idea. <laughs> He's not really doing anything. Oh, nutrients aplenty. There we go. That should help boost some of the life that we have on here right now. Uh, some of the plant life, anyway. I wonder what that is. Probably an egg, is my understanding. A hatched egg, maybe? Yeah, these look like they were eggs. Cause here's some more grubs. Doing their thing. Munching on the brown. Plant. We got nothing over here, so let's, I want to bring a grub over here. See if the grub likes the mushrooms. Yeah, I'm in. I'm enjoying this game. This is uh, this is a very, you know what? This is the kind of game where you just want to kind of chill, relax, you know, sit back and just, you know, do a bit of thinking, but not, you know, overexert yourself. It's really chill, man. I like this. I like this. Okay, plants are starting to mix. I don't know if that's a good thing or what. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and import another. F Should we import another fungus? I don't really know if that's a good idea. How about some weather? More nutrients. That's what that means. Nutrients. That must give a boost uh, to the... to the planet floor. Which I'm assuming helps things grow or, or spread. At the very least. Uh, some rainfall would probably be good. Let's do that. Maybe that helps. A brown plant is starting to um, dwindle slightly. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Wow, red has really expanded. I don't know if this guy's eating anything. 
<laughs> He's just chilling with his eyes going back and forth like, who's next? <laughs> I don't know if they eat. I don't know. Oh, we won't unlock something else. Here we go. Uh, left to their own devices, I fear that hungry herbivores might strip a world barren if given enough time. Predators are very important for this very reason. By keeping the prey's population in check, they make for a, set, uh, a much healthier ecosystem. Carnivores can also cause a similar disaster themselves by uh, overeating prey and wiping out all herbivores. Yeah, so again, uh, really focusing on the, the balancing of the ecosystem. Because right now we definitely have a... Well, what seems to be an abundance of um, abundance of beetles, locusts. Oh, locusts immigrated. So random events do happen. Uh, spores also blew up in the air. That wasn't me. That was uh, a random event. Here comes all kinds of locusts. Now I'm wondering if indeed this is what the mantis would feed off. The locusts. I'm not sure what the locusts eat looks like they're eating uh, plants these um, the brown right now brown is starting to get a bit of a foothold on on the planet uh, a lot of a lot of dead carcasses here I'm gonna find something that eats dead bodies that's what we need to do uh, let's import a random bug another grub here he comes falling from the sky from outer space space grub we got a diversity of seven not you know amazing by any means but definitely getting uh, getting more diverse on this planet so with those locusts being fairly holy grub mania okay let's I don't really want to sp you know maybe you can do all right here will you eat this life yeah you like mushrooms all right, we're going to, we're running out of uh, intervention points. There we go, let's call in some weather. Some rainfall I think would be beneficial to the planet. Definitely help some things grow. Oh, here we go, entry number seven. The dead bodies of bugs release nutritious, uh, nutritious substance into the soil below them. I could use this to refertilize soils or sustain existing fungus. Occasionally, the bugs even release a small amount of uh, substance while alive, perhaps the portion they were unable to digest. Very interesting. Uh, so my instinct of you know them being somewhat of a fertilizer early on in the game uh, is actually true. So we could place these around uh, in places where we need more nutrients or growth to help, I guess, um, to help with here we go. See that? I'm assuming I'm assuming that was a result of me dropping it there. <laughs> I don't I don't exactly know. There's a lot of dead grubs. I'm gonna put you in here though. Definitely gonna help out um, these sections. Still with only one intervention point. But I'd imagine the bugs who sort of live in a common area and eat that plant and die there are really, it's just a cycle, right? They die and now they're providing nutrients back into the uh, area in which they feed, which hopefully helps make that same plant grow again. At least that's what I think would happen. Go ahead and do another random weather. More rainfall, I think that's a good thing. I'm clicking you. Why can't I click you? There's a dead bug there. Hmm. Don't know why. This mantis must be looking for food. Uh, let's go ahead and help you out here, bud. See if we can find some locusts over here. Let's put you here. Yep. It's locusts that they eat. We just saw that happen right there. All right. Oh, hey oh, rhino beetle. Whoops. Now they told me a fix for that. I think you just got to back out of it. Uh, the rhino beetle is a blue-shelled beetle that in uh, is content to graze on fungi. It does not refrain from killing and eating weaker prey, though. Uh, this reduces competition for the fungi and provides uh, 
for a meal. As a beetle is unable to climb walls, it must clamber over the bodies of other bugs to reach higher areas. <laughs> okay, that's, that's interesting. So if you can uh, place them, that's why you see an abundance of them, sort of like in a crater like this down here, because they can't climb these walls. That's hilarious. Ground pod. Now let's back out, try that again. Uh, brown pod is a form of pod-like fungus. Pods use a different means of spore release than molds and are unable to spread their roots quickly across the surface. Well, we've noticed that. Brown grows quite slowly. Uh, the brown pod is a fragile and hollow structure, vulnerable to being eaten. It requires very little water to survive, however. Upon filling completely, the balloon-like spore pod bursts open, releasing spores in a somewhat wide area. Okay. Very, very interesting. So these look like they're full. I guess they eventually burst and... Boosh! And these burst and that's how it grows. Slowly but surely. How are we doing over here? Do, do, do. Might be time to import another bug. Look at all these. Oh my lord. Look at all these dead bugs everywhere. I'm not doing a great job at being uh, Mr. Mother Nature. Oh, why do we uh, entry eight? The strangest phenomenon of this world is perhaps this uh, streak of falling nutrient. Uh, I still cannot discover their source, but I have found a troubling pattern. The substance ceases regular falling when the world's soil holds a certain total amount of nutrient. A world without this steady fall is likely to die. Nutrients uh, locked away in ex uh, in inaccessible areas is not helping any life. I should ensure a widespread of fungal life to prevent this from occurring. Okay, so... Interesting. Good to know. Which is part of the reason why uh, using the nutrients piece right here is a good idea, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just litter the, the land with nutrients. 